So, again, you're going to start with getting the arm across your body. Right? Now, when you're in this position, you want to make sure that you have to pay attention where his head is. If his, if his head is on this side of my body, if I can see his back, that means you're going to be able to get onto his back. Okay? But normally, when somebody feels me start to climb onto their back, yeah, he's going to drive his head towards me. If, he, if his head is lined up with mine and I can't see his back, I can't get on it. Right? So, but he has to use his arm to push off the floor and push back in him in order to make that happen. He can't, without using this arm and putting it on the floor, he can't get his head back close to me. Okay? So he's going to push off that hand and drive into me. Right? The other thing he's going to be trying to do is, is start to pull this elbow back and across his body. So I need to slow that down. So when I get here and his head starts to drive in front of me, I'm immediately going to scoop under right, and lock. First thing I want to do is lock his head and arm together. Right? And then I get a foot on the hip, start to pull your shoulder back a little bit. Right? As he pulls his shoulder back, you'll see that'll make it really easy for you to climb that leg up and trap. Right? And now you have control of both arms. And now once I'm in this position, my, you'll see my knee is kind of controlling his head. I don't need my elbow on the head anymore. I can pull my elbow back and just worry about the arm. So make sure you get your legs up high. And this position can never really be too tight. There's no rush here to take your time. Your heels curl down, your knees squeeze together. And then to finish, you have multiple submissions here. So the first one is I'm gonna finish the arm bar on the top arm. So I'm gonna go uh, elbow to elbow with him. So I get his wrist trapped against my neck. My elbow's glued to his elbow. Then I'm gonna reach over and grab my own elbow. Now my hips push up and my elbow pulls down. To finish. The next one you have from here is on the bottom. So my left hand's gonna grab his elbow joint. I'm gonna rotate his elbow, point my knees to the ceiling, and my right elbow comes down across his wrist and pins it to the floor. Then I just slowly push my hips up to finish. Right. So those are the first two arm bars you have. Right. Drag the arm across. I go to climb onto his back. His head drives back into me. I immediately scoop so I control his head and his arm, and I start to put my foot on his hip to climb up. When I feel him, he's slowly going to start to pull that shoulder out. I'll bring my leg up over and trap the shoulder. All right. Then from here, I can, I don't need to lift your head up. He can lift his head up all he wants, and I have control of both arms. So I go elbow to elbow. I grab my own elbow. And then to finish, make sure that as you pull the, the, your elbows towards your chest, you're pushing your hips up. All right. The second one is, and look at the angle of my knees real quick. I'm gonna change the angle, so I'm gonna grab his elbow, rotate his elbow joint towards the ceiling, and rotate my knees towards the ceiling. My elbow just comes down on top of his wrist, I pin it to my hip, and I slowly push my hips up. Now there's gonna be times where this hand ends up in front of your chest, all right? So I can't trap it like that. In this case, I'm just gonna bring this hand in under, I go wrist to wrist on it, I still control both elbows, turn my knees up, and just go to the basic arm bar in the bottom one. So go over those three submissions first. He drives his head back into you, immediately scoop, control the head and arm at first. Start to walk your legs up. You'll feel, I want your partner to slowly try to pull their shoulder out, and you'll see it, it makes it much easier to trap the shoulder in that position. Right? And then go through those three arm bars. First one, elbow to elbow, hips up to finish. Second one, trap the bottom elbow, turn your knees up to the ceiling, hips up to finish. And the last one is that the hand doesn't get trapped under your arm. You're just going to go wrist to wrist on your chest. Just go into the basic arm bar. Pull my knee to my chest. Pull the foot over the head. Trap. And finish. All right? One, two, three.